In a world where artificial intelligence is increasingly shaping everything from how we work to how we live, there's an invisible but essential force making it all possible. The hardware. Behind every smart assistant, self-driving car, and powerful chatbot, there's a complex network of microchips and processors grinding through billions of calculations every second. Until now, most of these chips have worked using electricity. But what if the future of AI wasn't electrical at all? What if it was made of light? Engineers at the University of Pennsylvania have just taken a bold step toward that future by unveiling a programmable chip that doesn't just process data. It can actually train artificial intelligence models using nothing but light. This is a world first. The implications are huge. Faster AI training, massively reduced energy consumption, and the dawn of a whole new paradigm in computing known as photonic computing. Let's break this down in plain language. This isn't just about faster computers, it's about changing the very way computers think and learn. Think of it as moving from steam engines to rockets, or from horses to airplanes. This breakthrough could set the foundation for machines that learn and adapt using the fastest thing in the universe, light. To understand why this matters, we first need to look at how today's computers and AI systems actually work. Traditional chips, like those in your laptop or smartphone, use electricity to process information. They move tiny packets of electrical electrons through a maze of transistors to perform calculations. It's fast, but not as fast as it could be. Now, swap out those electrons for photons particles of light. That's what a photonic chip does. Instead of pushing electrical current around, it uses light beams to handle data. The benefits? speed, energy efficiency, and the ability to process multiple data streams simultaneously through a property called multiplexing. So why haven't we been using light all along? Because light is hard to control in the same way as electricity. While it's relatively easy to route electrons through circuits and perform simple math with them, doing the same with photons is like trying to solve a Rubik's cube while riding a roller coaster. You need incredibly precise materials and clever designs but the payoff is worth it. Photonic chips aren't just faster. They could be 10 to 1,000 times more energy efficient, especially for tasks involving large-scale AI. Here's the part where AI gets tricky. Modern AI models, especially deep neural networks, are built around a concept called nonlinearity. This is just a fancy way of saying that small changes in input can lead to big, complex changes in output. Let's say you're teaching an AI to recognize cats. At first, the model looks at pixels, but to truly understand catness, it needs to learn patterns for texture, ear shapes, eye position, etc. These patterns are nonlinear. Without nonlinearity, an AI system would just be adding and subtracting numbers. It wouldn't be able to learn anything meaningful. Electronic chips do this using functions like rectified linear units or sigmoid activations. But photonic chips? They've always struggled with this step. While scientists could perform linear operations with light, adding, multiplying, routing, they couldn't easily replicate those nonlinear leaps in logic. This is the key reason photonic AI has been stuck at the starting line until now. So how did the pen team solve this? They created a chip that doesn't just use light for data transport. It also reshapes light to perform nonlinear transformations. That's like teaching light to bend itself into complex thought patterns. At the heart of the innovation is a special kind of semiconductor that responds to an additional pump beam of light. While the main signal beam carries the data, the pump beam changes the properties of the material in real time. This alters how the signal beam behaves, whether it's absorbed, transmitted, or amplified depending on how strong it is. Think of it like this. You're drawing patterns on glass using a flashlight. Wherever the flashlight shines, the glass changes. Now, when another light passes through, it bends and twists according to those patterns. That's what this chip does, but at the nanoscale, with incredible precision. Because the pump beam is programmable, this setup acts like a dynamic canvas. You can reshape how the chip processes data on the fly, allowing it to adapt and learn. It's like giving the chip a brain that rewires itself using light. You might be wondering, cool, but does it actually work? The answer is yes, and spectacularly well. The pen team tested the chip on classic AI tasks. 
One was a decision boundary problem, where the model had to draw a line between two categories of data points. The chip nailed it with over 97% accuracy. Another test used the famous IRIS dataset, a staple in machine learning. Again, the photonic chip delivered over 96% accuracy, matching or beating traditional digital models. What's even more impressive is how efficiently it got there. In one case, for nonlinear optical components on the chip were able to match the power of 20 traditional electronic neurons. That's five times fewer components doing the same job, using less energy and operating at the speed of light. This means smaller chips, less heat, lower costs, and faster training times. All major wins for anyone building or running AI systems. Most photonic systems in the past were static. Once you built them, that was it. You couldn't change how they worked without fabricating a whole new chip. What makes Penn's chip revolutionary is that it's field programmable. Just like a blank canvas waiting for new art, this chip can be rewritten over and over again using light patterns. The pump beam acts like a painter's brush, dynamically changing how the chip behaves in real time. This flexibility is a huge deal. It means that one photonic chip could be used for a variety of tasks training models, running them, adapting to new data, all without being physically altered. That's unheard of in photonics until now. Right now, the chip focuses on polynomial nonlinearities, relatively simple mathematical functions. But the researchers believe that with more development, it could handle even more complex operations, like exponential or inverse functions. That's important because modern AI, especially models like GPT, 4 or other large language models, relies on an incredibly diverse set of nonlinear operations. If the photonic chip can scale to handle those, we might be talking about training massive AI systems using only light. This isn't just theoretical. The team envisions a future where giant data centers are replaced by rooms full of energy-efficient, ultra-fast photonic processors. These centers could operate at a fraction of today's energy costs, reducing their environmental footprint and making AI more accessible. And this tech isn't just for AI. Any computation-heavy task, whether simulations, quantum chemistry, even gaming, could benefit from the speed and flexibility of photonic processing. There's a poetic twist to all of this. The University of Pennsylvania is where ENIAC, the world's first electronic computer, was born back in the 1940s. It was the size of a room and consumed massive amounts of electricity. Fast forward to today, and the same university is pioneering a device that might one day replace electronic computers entirely with one powered by light. It's as if computing is coming full circle, but this time, it's stepping into a new dimension. We started with vacuum tubes, moved to transistors, then to silicon chips. Now, we're talking about reshaping reality with photons. If the pen chip is the beginning of a new kind of computer, then we're not just looking at an upgrade. We're witnessing the birth of a new species of machines, faster, smarter, and infinitely more efficient. Penn's photonic chip isn't just a cool piece of tech. It's a statement, a bold vision of what the future of AI and computing could look like. A future where training models take seconds instead of days, where energy bills are slashed, and where machines think not in electrical pulses, but in beams of coherent light. We're still in the early stages. There are technical hurdles to overcome, manufacturing challenges to address, and software systems that will need to evolve to make full use of this hardware. But the roadmap is clear. With light as our guide, the future of AI is about to get a whole lot brighter. And the next time someone tells you AI is powered by silicon and electricity, you can smile and say, not for long.